All right, family, I'm back. Um, so like I was saying, uh, I live in PA, Reading, Pennsylvania. Um, this is actually how our mailboxes look because there's so many people that live in the complex. They put them in here. The mail person comes up with their truck and delivers the mail. Um, see some people still have Christmas lights out. Not really sure why, but some of us don't take them down right after the new year. But as you can see, it's cold. Like if you hear the wind, this is where my attitude comes from. My face is all squinched up. I'm pissed off because it's cold. Don't want to be here. But I want you all to see what the West is like this time of year, especially Pennsylvania. Uh, this is the rental office where you pay your rent, right? And the rent for these apartments, no joke. Mine's is probably one of the cheaper ones next to the one bedroom, right? One bedroom would be less. But I live in a two bedroom, two bath apartment, and the rent is $1,210 American dollars. Don't be a day late. You'll pay another $50 for the lateness, and they will file court papers, which is $125. If you don't get the rent in on time. So across the street. This is across a big street. There's more housing. But it's a lot more congested. And a lot of kids. Do y'all see this ice on the ground? They messing with me. I'm telling you. Uh, there's some houses on this side. And we're approaching. The local public school. That's what that red and white building is. I don't know, kind of looks like a prison to me, but this is the local school. See this little kid is out here with his mask. Um, so yeah, here's the local school. It's elementary school on one side. You see it's huge. It looks like a little stadium, right? There's a middle school and an elementary school all in one. So in the U.S., elementary goes from like, uh, what is it, first grade or pre-K, depending on the school's program, to like fifth grade. And then middle school goes from like sixth grade, number six, to eighth grade, right? And then high school goes from nine to 12. You see people walk in with masks on. I'm probably like the only one who doesn't have a mask on, but I don't have it on because no one's next to me. So these are some of the houses that are near my street. Um, I'm gonna cut through the school parking lot so that you all can see like it's serious. When it's crowded, like they have to have signs for traffic. That's how many kids go to this school, right? It's a middle school and an elementary school together. And I don't know what you all know about Pennsylvania, but it's kind of like in a valley. So we have the mountains around us. So if you're a person that has bad allergies, you can hang it up. Because you're going to be sneezing, eyes watering, whatever issues you never had in your life. <laughs> when you come to Pennsylvania, you will have them. Because we have so many trees and different things around us and as the seasons change allergies will be affected right depending on what's growing on the trees depending on what's dormant all that kind of stuff stuff like pollen and other allergens so this whole thing i'm walking through is the school's parking lot it's usually filled with teachers vehicles that's how many kids go to this school so it's a huge parking lot, right? I taught my son to drive here. That's how big it is. And of course, they got the good old America K K A flag waving. Right? It was blowing in the wind. More snow. So you imagine I might have just missed the snowstorm. Today I think it was cold and raining, so I didn't come out, but I need to come out and get adjusted because if I don't it's gonna be harder and harder for me to get acclimated. I've been in the house 
for like three days. I get up, I shower, and I climb back in my bed. I'm mad because I have to put on a hat and some socks, some sweatpants. You know, when I was on the continent, I was free. Soaking in all that vitamin D. I'm about to lose my tan. So I am definitely feeling some kind of way. So this is the middle school. We passed elementary. And you see their sign. It's like a little bulldog. Their um, school. What do you call it? Oh, I forget what they call it. It's not a logo, but it's like the school like scout or something like that. So it's a little bulldog. Now we are approaching a nursing home, which is where the elders and the community, this is where the 2520s put their elderly parents when they can no longer take care of them or want to take care of them. They put them in this building here and they have little rooms. It's kind of set up like a hospital, I guess. And it's a lot of other elder, elderly people there. But they have one of the highest cases, cases of COVID at this nursing home at the beginning of the year. So the parking lot used to be empty. You see, now there's a few cars back. And you would see the staff outside with their mask on. And people would come to the windows and hold up signs so the parents could know that they missed them and stuff. It was kind of sad, actually. They actually have some, some letters on the window and I think it just says like thank you to the community because people were dropping off you know flowers and puzzles and stuff like that so yeah and the sign actually says heroes work here that's what it says on the glass um, you know our frontline people they've been in it since the beginning taking care of other people so they are definitely heroes the ones that actually take care of people and that are kind are heroes because um, I was an investigator for the state and some of the folks that work in these nursing homes aren't so kind to our folks, especially our elders, especially the ones who can't protect themselves. So, so they must have some kind of game at the school because there's like cars in the parking lot and a school bus. I don't know if you all can see that. See the mountains back there? That's what I was referring to. And then this is a tennis court. See, it all looks good, right? But um, what goes on behind closed doors, what lies underneath the surface isn't always so nice. So America has a way of putting up a great facade, giving you all the conveniences, but just giving you enough to keep you distracted uh, past the tennis courts, uh, well, let me go. Behind the tennis courts is like a soccer field, a football field, baseball field, all in one. Um, as we go further down, you see where they keep all the school buses. So the children, because a lot of where I live at in PA, everybody drives mostly. You have to, because there really is no public transportation. And if it is, it's limited. It only runs certain hours, like. It stops after 7 p.m. Um, there's no service on Sunday. There are no trains where I live at. If you've ever played Monopoly, I live where the Pennsylvania Railroad runs, right? Which brings like coal from the mountains, uh, shipping containers, stuff like that. So there's actually a railroad that comes through and stops the traffic people have to wait until the divider lets them through when the train passes this is what where they keep all the school buses for the school district and you see all the trees they just look sick and when they are green there's nothing growing on them ain't no berries or fruit or nothing else it's just barren So, you know, I have to remember, I have my health. I am blessed to even be telling this story, to be taking this journey. And I just keep in mind that, you know, my goal is to get back to the continent so I don't have to deal with any of this. Like, I don't want to age 
in this state, in this country. See all the school buses? So y'all are probably like, oh, that's so cool. The kids have school buses. Look, y'all, they're even hiring. I think they might pay like $15 an hour. And you only drive for a few hours, obviously. You drive to get the kids to school, and then you come back in the afternoon to drop the kids back home. So a lot of people work as a bus driver, but they have a full-time job that they run to in between, right? Uh, this building over here, this is the township, which is where you go to pay like, like, uh, what do you call it? I guess property taxes and they have some local events there. This is the township administration building. And this is where they get like the salt when it snows. Um, gravel and stuff like that. This is where you get your garbage cans when you move into a house. You can come here and get recycling bins and all that. Uh, so yeah, back to the buses. Let's talk about that. Y'all are probably like, oh, that's so cool. They got buses for the kids. Yeah, it's cool, but you pay for it right you pay a school tax to live in this community and i live in one of the better school districts in this area in this county actually so the school taxes are pretty high i think you pay them you pay them every quarter or something like that and um that's what funds the buses and don't forget you pay a school property tax right oh they doing something new well, this is new because i don't remember this has to clean off the top of the bus maybe it lowers down so yeah school property tax is part of what you pay with your mortgage i don't know that they do that everywhere but they do it in pennsylvania and it's not cheap like it could be an additional four or five thousand a year including what you pay for your mortgage pay for everything okay you're not just getting things for free over here is the police department. This is the local police department. Um, it probably has like two floors. From the front, it looks small. This is actually the back. So there's like a back entrance to it. But it takes up this whole corner. You're going to see me walk around this corner. Again, more barren trees. Here we go. Everything's brown. Brown and like, I don't know, khaki green. So I got y'all walking with me because I am going to go to the UPS office to deliver um, my packages for my shipping business. Um, I've told some of you guys before that I have online stores. So I got in a bunch of orders and I'm going to drop them off, drop off these orders. Um, at UPS which is the United Parcel Service it's a little different from United States Postal Service United States Postal Service has like the red white and blue boxes which is what I'll be taking but I'm using the folks that drive the brown truck with the gold writing UPS this is lady with her dog this is what people do walk their dogs they spend more time taking care of animals than they do people no, that's an American thing, I guess. A 2520 thing, I should say. Because I like pets too, but I like them to an extent. I still treat them like pets. Don't jump on my bed. Don't lick me in my face. None of that. Stay out of my kitchen. That's how I get down with pets. take good care of them and I spoil them but there's a limit to how affectionate I am with a dog here we go more see we actually have woods out here so people hunt so there's like woods you can see all the woods you can barely see through it so it's a bunch of brown trees <laughs> and we have traffic lights which you guys have on the continent as well but we'll have ours going in light there's like seven different lights right one will be for turning the other two one will be for turning to the left one will be for turning to the right um and one will be to go straight so i'm going to there's no sidewalk here either i forgot to mention that if you notice on some spots you can walk and there's a sidewalk other places you can't so 
So where I'm about to walk to, there's no sidewalk. But, um, you know, you just kind of stand on the grass so you have an opportunity to cross. This is our traffic light that tells you whether you can cross. When no one's coming, I just cross. And I have my mask in my pocket because they won't let me go into the store if I don't have my mask to the UPS store. They'll stop you at the door. Um, this is a bank. The bank that we have here, I believe, it looks like it's closing. I don't see the name of the bank on it anymore. It might be closing. So many businesses have closed because of COVID. But this bank was kind of cool because they stayed open seven days a week. And they were open really late at night. Which is kind of cool. And they had a drive through So that was cool. But um, it looks nothing's in there. So I think the bank has closed. Um, you see all the cars. I'm walking to a strip mall. It has a Chinese restaurant. A mechanic. A pizza shop. Grocery store. Um... Auto zone, you know, places like that. At the very end of it is Lowe's and the UPS store. So I go over here when I don't want to go to the post office. This is actually a trail. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a trail that leads you to the river if you want to like work out. I've never gone that way. I'm not comfortable going in areas I'm not familiar with. I go to the main park when I go on the trail. And this is just like an empty lot next to the muffler place. I guess if they ever get overcrowded fixing cars, they can stack them here. And I don't know if you guys can see, but whenever you pull into the little strip malls, they usually have a sign. And I think I've seen this. I'm not sure if I saw this in on the continent. I've seen malls, but I don't know that I've seen like a sign that told you every store that was in the mall. You may have a directory inside of the building, but with our little strip malls, you can see it here. Um, it tells you the name of the mall, Springtown Center, and what stores are in it. Giant, Fult Fulton Bank, Lowe's, Chinese Place, Sneaker Villa, UPS Store, Hallmark Store. You can see the sign thing. You see it over there? That's the sign. Here's all the cars. The car place is closed. Here's all the vehicles, though. Um, and, oh, car payments. So, car payments in the U.S., if you're not buying your car straight out, it can range from, like, 200 to $600 a month, depending on what kind of car you have. And you don't own it. You're leasing it. Right now, I'm smelling, like... Chinese food, which is kind of making me a little nauseous because I don't do Chinese food. Um, and you know, they good for that MSG. Many of us don't even know we're taking in MSG. Uh, MSG is in like the bullions that we cook with. It's in Chinese food. I remember my mom ordering Chinese food and always telling them no MSG. Uh, this is a subway. I forgot it's a subway over here. And people are ordering food outside. See, so they give it to you outside of a window. You don't go in. Um, approaching a liquor store. And it looks like the UPS store is still open. Yeah, people are standing outside. This is the UPS store where I have to go for small businesses. So, here we are. Yeah, there's a few people inside. They only allow four people at a time. So, this is the nail shop. Which, I don't go in here either. I'm going to pause this because I have to put my mask on. Alright, y'all. So, I finished dropping off my packages for UPS. This is my list. For everything they give you like a little sheet everything that i dropped off i must have dropped off about i don't know three four hundred dollars worth of stuff um when i got home i ran to a grocery store um, it's about five six o'clock now and you see how dark it is here 
but I figured I needed to get out and get some fresh air and I would take you all with me um, I guess I'm calling it fresh air because it's better than me being stuck in the house sometimes you just need to get out and walk and breathe to keep your sanity <laughs> so I just keep in mind you know that my goal is to get back in June and I'm a hustle even harder but I have to tell you I have never felt like this after returning from a trip like even when I went to Africa 26 years ago I didn't feel what I feel now you know when I came back 26 years ago I think I might have been starting law school or something so you know I had other things to distract me of course my son has come back and you know he done dove right in he back with his friends they hanging out telling him to wear a mask um, he's back in his car driving but me I don't know whatever I had difficulty with with before is like amplified you know everything just seems so fake to me so this is that police station I was telling you all about we're approaching it over here on this corner you can see the front of it's lit up it doesn't look that big but it's, it's pretty big And you know, our officers, they ride around in fancy cars, okay? Some of them is like, I don't know what you call them, uh, Dodge Chargers. And it's the kind of thing where if you're speeding, they'll come up right next to you and you don't even know they're next to you because of the color of the car. You don't realize it until you see the officer in his uniform. And they ride around in big trucks, you know. So the police department is well funded but you better know all these cars you see people are working hard to pay for them so these are the people here that deliver my mail I was talking about UPS these are the folks that black brown truck that just turned I'm crossing on the street again that doesn't have a curb so I'm walking in the grass you see the ice, it's still ice out here and snow and stuff. Crossing the street, this is the police department I was telling you about. You can see it up close now. And they have their own parking lot. And this is the community, you know. Seems quiet enough, seems clean. You know, but like everybody else, they got their problems. More money, more problems, right? Uh, this is how the streets look that the houses are on. So people actually live across the streets from each other. And of course, you know, this is not, I don't even want to think that I'm being um, condescending. But you know, just like a lot of us from the States had our interpretations of what Africa was like I'm sure some of you all have interpretation. See this truck right here? This is a police car. Now I can see the writing, but y'all probably can't see. But that's what the police cars look like. They slide up next to you in a big old truck and you don't even know. And they have, you know, wagons and they have regular cars and big trucks. So they're well funded. They like to fund the people that carry the guns. And they have a mobile command. They have to be stationed somewhere. They have that as well. And that's what we do. So I was saying I didn't want to be condescending to anyone. But I just want to give you an idea of what living in my state is like. Um, there's not a lot of black people around in my community. There's a few sprinkled here and there. Um, and there are some Latinos, uh, very few Indians and Asians, predominantly Caucasian. It is a community where people either own their homes, but they don't own the land. They don't do that in the States. See, y'all have that in Africa, where you can own the land as well as the house, right? So do you really own something if somebody could come and take the land from you? I don't know. Where I come from, the answer would be no. 
but you know somebody would be willing to debate that so this is a walk through my neighborhood during the day it's usually people out here you know families walking together i guess they call themselves exercising um police department has their own gas station they fill up gas in their vehicles as well it's a good walk so I have on a jacket I have on see my little gloves I got on fingerless gloves um, sweatpants I got a hoodie on a t-shirt my hair is wrapped and my mask like I'm warm because if you don't, especially when it's like wet, humid, you get chilled to the bone, you get sick. So you got to dress according to the weather. I know many people come to the States and they're not dressed right and they get sick, you know, or they're shocked. The body is shocked by the weather. So for me, I'm going to take advantage of this weather and make sure I'm exercising doing what I need to do um, I know y'all saw my son exercising and he's looking great so he said he's going to keep doing it and I didn't really think I had lost any weight on the continent because you know all my clothes fit the same and I never really had a big stomach but you know I got a stomach I'm a mommy little something my stomach is gone like enough sit ups and I'll have a six pack tight gone so that's an incentive for me to keep it like that you know so the healthy food makes a difference I can't say it enough and I'm not talking about all the unhealthy stuff and overdosing on the rice and the fried foods like you got to do it in proportion you know Although it's healthy, you can cook the nutrients out of stuff. So you gotta do it in a healthy way. See, it's getting dark. Um, so I am walking back just in time before it get too dark. Cause I, I don't, and it's, in this community, I don't wanna be outside when it's dark. Let's put it that way. Cause I don't know who's gonna be driving by who might have something slick to say. Cause you know, 25, 20s get bold when they think nobody's around or they see a female, but you know, I'm not the one, but they would find that out at a later date. So <laughs> it is what it is. I actually usually roll with mace in my pocket. I'll have to show y'all my little cute mace case I have. It looked like lipstick, got a little glitter on it. You know, I gotta have it blinging. But I'll be sure to give somebody a taste. They step to me sideways. But that's how we had to think here, right? Being cautious, overly cautious, not trusting folks. So, you know, when I came to the continent and people was offering me rides, I was like, okay, how much I owe you? And what's this about? And you just inviting me to eat, really? Like, they don't know. They was making me tear up. Because we just not used to that. I know I'm not. I'm like that. But I know that people around me aren't. So. And it's also, you know, it makes you think about your own priorities, right? And how you treat people. Um, how you see them. How you view them. So, I'm one that, you know, I may not agree with everything you say or do. But... I don't see a reason to be nasty. I just know I need to keep my distance from you. And I'm always, I always try to be sensitive to how other people are feeling with my words and with my statements. Um, I don't know. I just think more people should be like that. You know, don't just say the first thing that comes out your mouth. Have a filter because sometimes your first thought is some idiotic stuff, but to you it sounded good, <laughs> you know? And you think about it and you're like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I could have been a little more sensitive. So, especially being on YouTube, right? 
whether you like it or not, you're a role model. Like people are looking at you and saying, I could relate to this person. Do you really want them to relate to someone who does not conduct themselves accordingly? You know, none of us are perfect, but we do our best. I ran into some amazing people on the continent and all I could think was like-minded people. I knew people like this existed. I just haven't been in spaces where I could be around them. So this is what my community looks like at night. You see all the lights? That's like across the street. The grocery store, the Rite Aid, the CVS, the bowling alley. You know, all these little things to keep you distracted from what the real problems are. But people think life is so great here. (laughs) I don't know. I guess I could say weigh it, right? Like weigh the pros and the cons. Would you give up your tight-knit, beautiful, extended family that lives in a village for life in a place that looks like this and you're alone? I don't think there's any comparison. I really don't. Oh, you got fast food? That'll, That'll soothe your belly. That'll keep you comforted at night. <laughs> oh, look, they put on the lights. Yeah, see, electric's no problem here, right? Until there's a power surge or there's a big storm. And we lose lights just like every place else. It just doesn't happen as often. But here, you pay an electric bill. You pay for that. You pay for that convenience. So it could be lights on out here, but let me not pay my electric bill. I'll be sitting in the dark. So I remember back in the day, we would have these parties and they do it like in the local park where everybody plays basketball and stuff. And they would plug into the lamppost. They would, you know, steal the electricity, if you will, from the lamppost, plug up the speakers, the records, all that. All the DJ equipment be hooked up to the plug. Everybody be having a blast, sweating it out. And uh, here come the popo, pulling out the plugs, scratching the record just as you was in the middle of getting your groove on. Everybody be running from the park, right? Because you know you really shouldn't even be in there having a party with no permit. But I remember being in the Gambia at a soccer match. And he was playing reggae and the speakers was pumping. People was having a good time. And wasn't no police coming to disconnect them because they were gathering. So... Walking back through the school parking lot, 